as I uh, stated earlier on the record, my very, very first visit with a VA psychiatrist was unsatisfactory, to say the least. I mean, he wasn't concerned about my day-to-day -day life. He was only concerned with the fact he wasn't concerned with my uh, wartime experiences. He wasn't concerned about if I was going to make it home safely after the appointment. His only concern was the fact that I had a very strong uh, nicotine habit. And I, the I, first I, the first consultation you had when you were going in and very, your family very, was very a PTSD. The conversation went right to smoking. Yes, sir. Did it improve any after that? I mean, the, the subsequent consultations and things, was there, was there more of what you were hoping they would talk to you about, about the things you had seen or the ways you were feeling different or the reaction your family was having towards you? Did any of that start to come up then? It didn't come up on that day, but I only saw that doctor one time. Uh, after that, I, was, I spoke with the, the chief of psychiatry there at uh, North Little Rock. Veterans Hospital, and you know he immediately had me assigned to a new doctor, and everything went very well after that. Okay, well again, I thank you for coming here, and I, I appreciate your understanding of, of why these questions they will um they will benefit uh, those that follow uh, with the same situation that you're in, and that's what we're trying to get at. So thank you, and I yield back. Thank you. I just uh, I'm, I'm confused here, um, <clears throat> Mr. Elliott. If I understand you correctly, and I, my colleague and I were just talking about this, just so that I'm clear, you went to the VA initially for PTSD. Yes, sir. And you, if, and maybe I didn't hear it correctly, but you went to the VA for PTSD and they put you, and the answer to that was smoking cessation. From the very first day, it, it seems apparent to me that they were very interested in my smoking habits. So, all right. so you go to the VA and you say, I, I think I have this problem, I need to see somebody, you're diagnosed with PTSD, and the, you're prescribed smoking cessation instead of the, the normal, what, not the normal, but instead of getting, going into something that would, that would treat the PTSD, they want to treat the, they want to stop your smoking. Is that what you're saying because that's what, what I was saying. I, I just find that I find that very confusing. It's in that confusing. You, it's incredible. It's scary. It's sad. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Advice for us as we proceed to uh, hearing from the VA and other other witnesses. Well, I, I agree with. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Charles, that human testing at the VA hospital should be eliminated. And I, I would like to point out that the, the graph that is part of my executive summary, you know, it, it, it clearly shows a criminal network and motive, and, you know, that motive is money. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, Chairman.